isn't great and it's my fault that I'm lonely but at the end of the day that's what I experience and this is how I deal with it I deal with it through YouTube I deal with it with, with you know through Leo and his friends and we all have a great time together hello there This video isn't called the loneliness of Thailand for nothing because what you're going to experience or what you're going to witness in this video is loneliness personified and basically I deal with that through various ways and you're going to see that in this video as well. The reason I'm lonely, I am in the midst of the bosom of my wife's Thai family but that in effect renders me to isolation because of the fact that they all speak Thai and it's not just it's not complaining they speak Thai but I can speak Thai Pam Pud Thai Tuk Wan Lai Kun Thai Pud Pam Tuk Tuk Pam Pud Thai Gang many Thai people say I speak Thai very well but I'm 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 amongst other things a language teacher and when my students who can speak English and correspond with me in English tell me that when they're with native speakers they can't understand a word or they can only pick up a word here and there that's exactly the same way as I'm that's exactly the same thing I'm experiencing here can you hear it you can probably hear it there that's what it's it sounds like gobbledygook so I I rely on my friends and I've got a very good friend who I'm, well, two very good friends who I'm going to introduce to you now Yes, it's my very good friend Leo, and it's being cradled by its good friend Stella Artois with well, the glass of a Stella Artois. Pity it isn't Stella Artois, nothing against Leo. Though. <sighs> I've deliberately held the microphone close so you could enjoy, or you could, you could, you could experience the sheer pleasure of gulping down an ice cold Leo in the middle of this humid rural part of Thailand where I feel very very lonely I have my son I have my wife and all the rest but it, I tell you it's like it is like a parallel universe I, I think I, I spoke about this before and this is not, in all seriousness this is a holiday weekend I didn't know and I'm here 11 years I didn't know tomorrow Monday was a holiday we're here on Sunday evening and she says to me this morning we're going up to Pontu Tani and I says to sleep because in the tone of her voice I knew that's what she was suggesting suggesting and she said yeah but we got work to, you got work tomorrow morning Harry's got school she's no it's a holiday I said god I didn't know I never knew yesterday was Maka Buddha whatever it's I don't know it was called it was the religious day and you couldn't I did a live stream on the big picture El Panorama and at 12 o'clock during the live stream I had my first Leo because you can't um, drink or buy or consume alcohol in Thailand on that day so I didn't know this was a holiday weekend it is that's why they're all up here God. there's nothing that improves the flavor of a beer than a nice glass I think you'll agree it makes all the difference and um, that's why I used to hate going to places that serve beer in plastic glasses. I mean, come on. You wouldn't serve wine in a mug. You know, you wouldn't serve... Some of the things they serve beer in here, tumblers, you know, tumblers. Yeah, what the hell? But anyway, getting back to the subject. It's now 20 past seven. And they're watching what I would say type of TV that we watched in Europe in the 19... 80s or 90s in the 1990s Saturday night the Saturday night review entertainment X Factory kind of stuff um, that's what they enjoy 
and they're all sitting there and they're all eating and she said to me she bought food she said to me do you want to eat why do you drink and I says no because I don't I don't eat food while I'm drinking that's another thing that's another thing that isolates you from Thai and you might as well some people say why don't you just get into the culture or forget about it it's I am involved in the culture I want to be involved in the culture but I don't speak Thai well enough to be able to integrate as much as I'd like to and that's laziness because native English speakers don't have to speak any other language. You can just you can survive in Thailand by speaking English. You you might end up feeling lonely on occasion, but you will survive. Um, just to highlight a contrast here, my wife's family are pure Thai. I mean, they, none none of them have a word of English, not a word. But you know, by me, if I if you're familiar with the big picture of panorama, I interview girls on the street in Big Bang all the time, and they speak English to a reasonably high level and I can I can converse with a lot of people in English in Bangkok and even in Thai they understand the spoken Thai these guys understand my spoken Thai but they're because they don't speak English at all they don't comprehend they don't understand that the rate that they are speaking at they've no knowledge of any other language I speak Gaelic I'm 59 years old Tommy Nagoni E.T. Lin. I live in Thailand. So I speak Gaelic, I speak English, I speak a bit of Thai. Hablo Espanol and Paquito, I speak a bit of Spanish. But you see, the Thais don't speak anything else. Well, I meet a, I meet a lot of girls who can speak. Some are, one, one who's a polyglot, she can speak five languages. Um, I meet lots of girls who can speak English and Thai. Some can speak English, Thai and German and Spanish. The younger generation do, but these guys don't. And if you have no comprehension of any other language, you just you just speak at your normal pace when you're speaking to someone who doesn't speak your language. We slow down because we've a knowledge that they that their language is completely different. They don't seem to have this comprehension, and that's why you feel very isolated, very lonely. And there's God, I wouldn't say they're just mosquitoes. There's all kinds of things here because we're right beside, right beside a, uh, not a canal, a pond, a fish pond. Uh, another highlight of the differences, just to say, I stopped off to buy a bag of frozen chicken nuggets in a place, a wholesale place, um, on the way up here. She asked me to do that. And didn't she forget them and leave them in the car? And it's 30 odd degrees, like it's 34, 35 degrees. It's still fairly hot. They've been in the car since we got here at 3 o'clock. It's now 20 past 7. 20 minutes ago, she asked me to get them out of the car. And they completely defrosted and they were warm. And I said to her, I wouldn't chance eating those. And she laughed at me. They all laughed at me. And I said it in Thai. My kin, Prawa, um, Sai Lok, Si Chamon, we left them in the, in the car for four hours. And Lon, and blah, they're hot and blah, blah, blah. They laughed at me and she's she cooking them in the microwave. Or not the microwave, she's frying them. So, again, the differences here are immense. And my solace is YouTube. And my solace is Leo. I don't always have the luxury of having my Leo in a Stella glass or a glass like a Stella glass. It, it really adds to the flavour or it adds to the experience. Don't fret. I have plenty more where this came from. So This video is, again, a video from the heart. If I feel passionate enough, you see, I don't just get on camera and just start talk, talking about anything. I actually feel something. I feel isolated. I feel alone. I feel that I'm on, in a parallel universe. They're all in their, in their Thai universe. That's what it's, a, it's, the, it's, it's, the, it's planet Thailand. It's planet Thailand. And it's a wonderful place. But it's so insular. It's so insular it's a disagree with me if you will but i think thailand is one of the most insular countries that i've ever been to i've been to i've been to more than a few and i've lived in four different countries thailand is extremely excuse me is extremely insular they don't know much about the outside world they don't know much about what's going on because this is now excluding the younger generation. Excluded. The younger generation is moving on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm talking about the under, the 30, 30 and under. They're, and probably a little bit, maybe 35 and under. They're moving along at a tremendous pace.
and the people of my generation the Thai people of my generation are they are not stuck they are in their own their own place but many many Thais younger Thais now do have an idea they ask me where are you from and I say Ireland they have an idea I say to these guys and this is another thing 11 years and none of them have ever asked me one question this is a whole separate topic but it, it, le it leads it lends itself to this it's that they have no curiosity it's to do with the education system they've absolutely no curiosity whatsoever and I know that many of you agree with me on this that I've been here 11 years and my spouse has never asked me that much nothing nothing and I mean zippo nada nothing nothing um, about Ireland nothing where is it what food did what's the capital city what's the currency nothing nothing and her family nothing and it really brings it home to you they have no interest they're not curious and that's another aspect of feeling isolated and feeling lonely they don't ask you anything they don't they're not interested in anything you do oh, I have the camera here they wouldn't even it's to do with being polite they don't want to interfere that's what it is you know I'd love someone to engage with me and say what's this for what's that for I got a, a mic here a microphone here a light here a tripod and all the rest of it I'd love them to inter, inter, integrate but I'd love to be able to integrate with them but they won't and it's oh god it really is it's, it's both irritating and you know isolating ah uh, I think that calls for another one I don't really need an excuse. Do you? Here we go. This is how to do it, you know. Went a bit early there. Now, the switch. Perfecto. How about that? We learn how to pour a beer in Ireland from a very early age. The ties, some, some, and this again, a difference. Some ties, some young Thai people who work in bars haven't a clue. They haven't a clue how to pour a beer. You get a head down to here. Do you know, in Ireland, if you order a Guinness and the head isn't, I forget what the stipulation is, there's a stipulation, <laughs> say that much, I don't know what it is, but if the head isn't right, you can bring your pint back to give you another one, and that's a fact, that's a fact, there's um, a term in Ireland we use, it's called a bishop's collar, if the head is too big, it's like the collar of a bishop, called a bishop's collar, you can bring that pint back and they give you another one. Here they don't seem to understand that, you see, we have a standard, again, it's, this is the differences, you know, the differences. Um, I'll just say that I have, I am part, I feel part of Thailand because my own flesh and blood is a Thai national, my son. So I do feel part of it. But there's, a, there's a, it's like a, a ceiling. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain distance you can go if you don't speak the lingo. And even if you do speak the lingo fluently, there's a, you'll never be fully, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll never be fully. And I'd love to be, I'd love to be able to speak it fluently. I don't think I ever will because I speak English and I can get away with speaking English to back up whatever Thai I'm lacking. So there you go. Anyway. So the Thais, yeah, they put ice in their beer and because they put the reason they put ice in their beer it is obviously to cool it down. But I always say to them, it's because you're eating. You don't drink it fast enough, you see. If you, if you drink it fast enough, it doesn't have the chance to get warm. Ah. Uh, your reality, my reality. We are largely responsible for our own experiences. We um, we have, with the exception, with the exception of someone who's incapacitated through accident or illness or whatever it may be. But uh, apart from that, if you're, you determine your future to a huge extent by your actions of the of the present. Simple as that. So it's my fault. 
that I don't feel it. And I'm sure I've had a great time talking to you. It really has, you know, a problem shared is a problem halved, as they say. But make sure whatever you do, you click that like button, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell and click it all the way up to all notifications. And I'll see you again very, very soon for another wonderful video. Thanks for joining me. Hello there.